Hey everybody. Are you looking for that unique player home? Something that'll really make you stand out amongst your peers in the Commonwealth? Well, have I got just the home for you? Yeah, it's an exact copy of the Pridwin. Except it's empty. It doesn't have all those meatheads running around in it. You can furnish it however you want. You can drive it around to certain places in the Commonwealth and park it there. And uh, you get your own personal vertebrate that you can fly around in and run and gun with the side-mounted minigun. Well, your dreams can become reality. You too can build this thing and fly it around, park it over Preston's house, or take it for a spin in the glowing sea, even fly way the hell over to Far Harbor for a little destination vacation. This mod is simply called Airship, Player Home and Settlement. Now, how do I get this home, you ask? Follow me. I'll show you how. This is Proctor Quinlan. He's sort of a dink. So, uh, we're gonna kill him because he has the Pridwin schematics on him. And there they are. Uh, it's gonna make you rather popular, so you're gonna wanna, you know, make a quick exit. Um, if you've destroyed the Pridwin, along the coast, somewhere near the wreckage, is a, uh, military crate. And the schematics will be inside there. Excuse me, please. Yes. Please. Well, I'd be dead if I didn't have, uh, God Mode on. <laughs> See you later. Alright, so then you take this thing to Spectacle Island, which is the only place you could build it, because, you know what? It's an airship. It's the Pridwin. It's huge. It sort of looks like an alarm clock, but it's not. And there we go. You'll get a loading screen, and you're in the control room. The wheel is how you choose your destination. Pretty straightforward. Um, Nick saying, how the hell did I get here? Sorry, Nick. So the whole the whole ship is empty. We're going to take a peek outside. And we should be at looking down upon Spectacle Island. What a great day. Here we are. Look, Spectacle Island. Fantastic. Just the place for a little vacation. I just want to note, you can't build anything on the outside um, for technical reasons. But the inside is wide open and ready for building. I was trying to attract some settlers to see if this would work. It's got a, uh, you know, other than murdering us with uh, carbon monoxide poisoning, no one seems to have showed up. So, as you can see, um, the vast interior of the airship is available for your, basically, your home. Armor stands, build whatever you want in here. It's all good. Um, everything's empty. So, I mean, there's a lot of space. But I don't think you're going to end up getting any settlers. In the control room, there's a uh, computer screen that you can set to uh, turn on the uh, recruitment beacon as well for the ship, but uh, I haven't been able to make it work. Nobody's showing up. No one cares. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Yep. This enables you to recall the vertebrae in case you left it. Uh, start the recruitment broadcast. So I did this and no one showed up. But uh, I don't know how the hell they would get up here. So maybe that's a small a small flaw in my plan. So the hell with them. I don't need all this settlement bullshit up here. This is my my crib. Uh, let's head out to the glowing sea and check it out. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, we are here. About as wonderful as I imagine it. <clears throat> that looks like the crater of Adam. Walk 
out on these things. And, uh, there's that pyramid thing. I forget the name of it. And, uh, yep, all the glory and goodness that, uh, that's the glowing sea is, is there waiting for you. Let's drive this thing over to Sanctuary and park it over Preston's house. We can maybe piss over the side on him or something. All right, here we are. Lovely Sanctuary. Probably horrified by the appearance of a giant airship on their doorstep, but you know what? Not my problem. So if you wanted to get to the ground... Oh, come on, buddy. Occasionally get people shooting at you. I don't know why you'd shoot at this thing. But uh, the best way to attack targets on the ground would be with like, a sniper rifle. Or uh, I prefer explosives myself. I don't know. I'm not much of a sniper. It's not my thing. And you could fly down on the vertibird. Or you can just uh, jump off. You're able to jump right off and, you know, crash. And there's another one. Come on, guys. Have some respect. Uh, this is Cambridge. Lovely Cambridge. Not too many people shooting at me here. I think it's like a lot of ghouls and stuff, so they don't have the capability. So your only methods of attack are uh, grenades, rocket launchers, sni uh, sniper rifle, that sort of thing. There's a ghoul down there. There's no uh, ship-to-ground bombardment, which is uh, which is too bad. That's unfortunate. That's something I would have. <laughs> would have had fun with. But, uh, well, maybe in a future version of the mod. Yeah, I'd be able to drop a few Mervs or a bucket full of grenades on someone. Uh, you can fast travel to and from the ship. Um, the most interesting place to park this thing so far that I've found is Quincy. Because you put your women reach a, well, these fun guys down here. Let's mess around with them a little bit. Because we can. Take that, buddy. Again, I, <laughs> I, wish this, <laughs> I wish this thing had some sort of bombardment system. Like maybe a deck gun or something, you know? Oh, yeah. Take that, buddy. So, uh, we got these clowns over here in Quincy. And then if we uh, turn around and go on the other side of the ship... We will find, uh, this is where all the, you know, the fun gunners are. I think I've killed most of these guys. I don't think they've respawned yet. Is that, in case that chucklehead is hiding up in the church tower. Lob a few missiles over here. Yeah. And get that guy in power armor running around. Is the, uh, there's our sister ship, the Pridwin. Too bad this thing doesn't have ship-to-ship -ship combat capability. I'd ride this thing over there and go nuts. But, uh, yep, yeah, you can fast travel to multiple destinations. Uh, this one's Far Harbor. Hello, Far Harbor. You can uh, fast travel to and from the ship. And you can take the vertebrate down out for a spin and uh, use it just like you would if you were a member of the... Brotherhood flying around in one of one of their vertebrates. Um, you just select a destination on your on your uh, pit boy and and fly off. Let me hitch a ride down to the surface. And there we go. <laughs> Here we come, Far Harbor. And then, oh yeah, the second I get down here, it turns all crappy. Anyway. So that's it. There's your, uh, player home. Floats above everything. Um, nearly, <laughs> you have uh, all the space you want in there. Um, you got your own personal vertebrate. Uh, and there are apparently no settlers to harass you and ask constantly ask you for things like, I don't know, bed, food, water, stuff like that. Um, and, you know, if you're looking for a unique player home, give this a shot. Thanks for sticking with me during the uh, longest cold known to man. 
my voice has been going in and out the past couple of weeks, so I appreciate it. And uh, please remember to subscribe. Join the party. All right, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, later.